And the Oscar for greatest magnetic field performance goes to Bio Savar. <laughs> so what we're talking about here is Bio Savar. Um, commonly, if you're like can't do this French name in your head of Bio Savar, if you keep pronouncing it Savart, it's Savar. Think of it as Leo Bazaar. Okay, like Bio Leo Bio Leo Savar Bazaar. Savar, bazaar. Okay, say it right. Um, don't be like a, a biot savart. It's bio savar. Okay. Um, now bio savar has a kind of confusing form to it if you're using a uh, you know proper calculus terms. And technically speaking, um, this is like the r hat vector. If that's not an r hat, then the um, denominator actually should be. Uh, cubed if that's not an R hat vector. So things get kind of a little bit weird with Bio Savar. Um, there's a less confusing form of it, but uh, we're going to save it until we get to Ampere's Law. And whenever we get there, we'll see how this all pans out in the end. Okay. Um, what we need to know is this. Um, as we talked about in the beginning of this unit, we know that if we have uh, moving charges, these moving charges are going to create a magnetic field. And what we mean by that is, hey, if we have a line of current, I, it is going to create a B field. And we know it's going to create a B field by sticking our thumb in the direction of the current, and then the direction that we wrap our fingers around is going to create um, the B field here. Okay, So I know that on the uh, right side of this, my B field is going to be going into the board, and on the left side, it's going to be coming out of the board. So we're going to have a wrap kind of going like this. Okay. Um, we can actually figure out the strength of this B field as a function of radial distance away. So like what is the B field out here from the wire? Um, we can actually figure that out. And what we would do here is there's some pretty long and uh, kind of cumbersome derivations to do this for a long, infinitely straight wire or for a wire loop which has some angle to it. Okay, um, But in short, what we know is this. Uh, the B field at some radial distance away from a long, infinitely straight wire, um, or a wire that's long enough to be infinitely long, uh, is going to be mu naught times the current running along that wire divided by 2 pi and then r, where this r is the radial distance away you are um, from that point. So, like, you know, this is r right here, okay? If we have a wire loop, so let's say we have some uh, circle, and let's make it like a, a half circle, right? Let's, let's make it a half circle. Whishing. So if we have a wire loop here, um, and you are in the center of it, and you're some distance r away from everywhere in that loop, we can say that the B field at your position is equal to mu naught times i, and here's where things get a little weird, times an angle, phi. And what this angle represents is the angle at which that wire is encompassing and arcing over. Okay, um, So it's mu naught times i, the current, times this angle, and then divided by, and this time it's going to be 4 pi r. So a slightly different equation here, um, but these are the two equations that we're going to need. Okay, so one's for a long straight wire, mu naught i over 2 pi r. For the wire loop at the center, uh, it's mu naught i phi over 4 pi r. And this mu naught, um, just like whenever we talked about electric fields, electric fields had epsilon naught, which was like the, the uh, permeability of free space for an electric field. Um, mu naught is the permeability of a magnetic field through some free space, like a vacuum. Okay, so this is just some constant. Um, it pops up on your equation sheets and whatnot. You don't need to memorize it. It is just a value to get everything to kind of pan back into SI units. Okay, um, so we're going to need these two equations to kind of get us rolling. Um, we'll look at a few examples that we could use these. And uh, yeah, these are. Nice things we have in our back pocket until we bring ourselves to Ampere's Law and we can do Ampere in loops. Um, right now, this is just where we want to be for that. Okay? So with this, this little mini lecture is finished. I'll see you for some examples of this.
Adiós.